Hey there everybody, welcome back to Try New Things, where today we're moving inside where it's cool to do a product review. Now if you've been watching my previous videos, you may have seen that I've recently restored a 100 year old corn sheller. And we ran all of our corn that we grew this year through that, and I've got a bucket of corn ready for processing. Now today, what I want to do is use a product for the first time that I ordered last year, but we didn't get any corn because of the raccoons. But from Lehman's up in Ohio, I uh, ordered a country living grain mill. And today we're going to put that together. We're going to run the corn through it and see if we can make flour. So stay tuned. Review of a hand crank corn mill. So the first thing we got to do is take it out of the box and see what we're working with. Looks like I'm going to have to build another base. So here is the corn mill from Country Living and it won't stand up on its own yet. What else do we have in the box? So this is called a power bar. Not quite sure how that goes on there yet. And we've got a handle assembly. nice handle and we have a large auger but there's the large auger we're going to leave that in the package for now inside of this pizza box we've got the flywheel where we mount the handle to it so let's get the instructions out and see what we got to do here. So it turns out we're not really big on instructions here. I do have this little diagram about the auger, which is for corn, and how to mount the handle. And it does come with a diagram of how everything goes together. So I think the first thing I need to do is open it up, replace the current auger with the corn auger, and then put it back together and then we'll attach the flywheel and the handle and make a base and then we can grind some corn into flour. So there's a little grinding stones and you can see where they tested it out on some wheat Sure it worked right. So we got the key out. And the spring. So that the key lines up. Oh, I got it, I got it. So on the wheel, to loosen it makes it more coarse, tighten it makes it more fine. So we may want to start with a coarse pass and then a fine pass. I'm not sure because I've never used this before. We'll set it up once we get it onto a stand and go from there. And on top of the power bar, we thread the handle. So after rummaging around the barn, I found this piece of cedar plank that I think I'm going to use for the base. It is a little long, uh, so I'm going to trim it back a little bit. The challenge is going to be making sure that we can clamp this to a surface without interfering with the handle, which has to stick out beyond the edge of your table, while still having room for a tray to catch the flour. But I'm going to turn this piece of cedar into a stand and then I'll check back in with you. 
All right, so here's what we came up with for a base, a nice cedar plank, coat of clear coat. It's time to clamp this down to a bench and try to make some flour. So once again, we're back in the kitchen with the country living corn mill or flour mill, and we're gonna try it out. We may have to make some adjustments and potentially we may have to run the corn through a couple times, but let's, let's do a little and see how it turns out. Here are the results from one coffee mug of corn kernels. You can see there's still some fairly big chunks there. I'm going to try tighten it down a little bit more and run this through again, see what we end up with. There, I think we have the settings a little closer to where they need to be. That does look like cornmeal. So here's a look at our corn flour that we've made so far. And I still got 90-95% of my corn left to grind. Alright, time to wrap up this video and give you my final thoughts on the grain cornmeal from Country Living that I got from Lehman's. Now it did take a long time for me to get. It is a fairly pricey unit. But it worked and it worked really well. But I have to give props to those folks back in the day that hand cranked this thing or a version of it because they had to and not because they wanted to. So I spent a couple hours grinding corn today. Uh, I've got about half of it left and my right shoulder is already wore out. But I did make a fairly good sized bag of cornmeal here. Now, when it comes out of the mill, I did run it through a sieve to get to this point. Um, but once you get the settings right, you don't have a whole lot of loss there. And I uh, can't wait to take this home and make it into some cornbread muffins. So this particular mill is solid cast metal. Um, the flywheel is metal, the handle is wood. It is heavy and it is durable and I think we're going to get many, many good years out of it and uh, we'll have one good Popeye arm when we're done grinding the corn every year. But anyway, hopefully you've enjoyed this video and uh, you got to see the Country Living Corn Mill in action. If you have any questions or comments about this or anything else, leave them below. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe and we'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye. <laughs>